hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames if you're new here be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we'll be talking about miss kimmy cakes because you know that nylon magazine has dubbed kim as bringing back the side part and i'm like side part where after i uploaded that video i'm like look at this disastrous lace front guys am i the only one that is seeing this tacky so-called lace front i mean we know that kim is the queen of trying to be a perfectionist because like hell she cannot nail the perfection so kim always portrays herself on social media to be the woman that is perfect flawless of everything now when you look at this lace fronts it's giving ghetto it's giving low budget it's giving i'm on crack and out of money i look the hell whack this is what this looks like and i noticed this after uploading the video i'm like no 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 let me pause this video and take a closer look and open closer inspection i'm like what the heck is that what the heck is that i mean i've seen so many wigs and the only place that i've ever seen wigs like this is in the ghetto and no disrespect, but those girls are just trying to make something out of nothing. And Kim is a billionaire, so what is this woman's excuse for this mess? I mean, this is so atrocious. It's so horrible. And did she think that no one would notice it? I mean, especially that Nylon Magazine is calling her out as bringing back the side part that we all have been wearing practically every single day, especially beauty influencers who do those um wig reviews with the side parts in the baby ear i mean kim should have checked out one of those beauty influencers to get this wig laid and slayed for her because like hell it is giving cockroach art mess no guys the next thing i want to talk about is kim thirst trap video she has another thirst trap video out and upon looking at that video, I don't think she's promoting a brand. I think this is her um, skin's swim line. Because if you look at it carefully, it looks like something that we've seen Cheney Jones wore already. And I've been saying to you guys that Kim has been copying Cheney Jones down to the T. And because Pete broke up with her and Pete is talking about um her not being good in bed yada 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 she wants to prove to us that she still got it whatever we're hearing about her is not factual but what i cannot help is the fact that we've seen cheney jones in this but what she's doing she's tweaking it and i also believe that this is her this is her aim of stopping Kanye West from coming with a Yeezy swim because she has her people who follow these channels and we're saying Cheney Jones appears to be the face of Yeezy swim. So these um, bathing suits that Cheney Jones has worn, the unique pieces, what she's doing now, she's replicating each and every single one of them. And I believe we're going to see more coming from her because her aim is to prove to the world that she can become a successful businesswoman without Kanye West. But in reality, every venture that she has done besides Skims, and Skims has Kanye tied to it. Outside of that, everything that Kim has tried to do on her own ends up in copyright infringement, ends up in a lawsuit. So I don't think she can truly manage without a creative mind such as Kanye West. Because if you look at every other successful businesses, there's a creative mind behind it. If it's not Kanye, it is definitely someone. So I believe that Kim is trying to copy all of Cheney's um, swimsuits to make it her own new Kim's line. That is honestly what I believe. And as you can see the side-by-side -side comparison, definitely Cheney Jones word first. And I've been telling you guys that she has been copying Cheney Jones, but some people have been saying no. But Kim is known to be an authentic copycat, so this should be no surprise. Even if you are a hearted Kim K supporter, this you cannot dismiss that she's copying this woman. Now, I don't know what she's trying to bring in this thirst trap video because the quality appears to be so poor. But then again, I looked into it and I can see some areas of Photoshop. So maybe the reason why the video 
seems this way is because she wants to do some photoshopping in that video not only that she wants to basically drag people's memory to bring people back to the memory of when her sex tape was released because we know that slowly she is becoming irrelevant and her sex tape is what basically put her on the map and because there's so much information out there and allegations about Pete dumping her because she's useless in bed. What she's doing, she's giving the idea of a sex tape in a HBO, HBO Max, Cinemax, Showtime, Stars, soft porn kind of way. So when she brings back that, she's basically targeting a particular audience. Anyone that fell in love with her because of that sex tape, she's basically targeting that particular audience. If you've seen it, when she does these sultry videos, it's going to jag your memory and bring you back to how you got to know Kim and your interest will be peaked again. So this is just all a monopoly. Kim wanting to manipulate people and she's using social media in order to do so. So I believe that we're going to see more thirst trap video coming from her until she's with someone because she has to prove to Pete that you've lost a damn good thing. And if you check on my page, you're going to see men and women gushing over me. So she's going to keep doing these videos until she is with someone officially in the public. But in the meantime, this woman, she needs to stop copying Cheney Jones and she needs to do better as it relates to these disastrous lace front wigs. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. And remember, if you haven't subscribed us yet, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.